When we see a new patient, uh, we, we evaluate them based on the possible comorbidities, things that are associated with problems of the aorta that could impact not only their operation, but their post-operative care and recovery. As in, in a general rule, no matter what part of the aorta that we're going to be focused on, we try to evaluate their kidney function, which we do primarily with blood tests, but there are other tests we do. We evaluate their, their lung capacity because when you're working inside the chest, you do need lung power to recover. And so we'll do pulmonary function tests to see what kind of shape their lungs are in. The other area that we need to look at is, is their heart. Even though we may not be directly operating on the heart all the time, uh, we, need, we need to know that their heart function is going to be uh, capable of recovering from uh, a, a rather sizable operation. So we look at the, uh, the kidney function, the heart function, and, uh, and pulmonary function in general. When we're working on the aorta, probably the single best test to evaluate the entire aorta is a CAT scan that's done with IV contrast. Uh, there are other tests that we can use, uh, certainly transesophageal echocardiography, which is uh, ultrasound of the, of the heart and the aorta going down through the esophagus. It can also be done through the chest wall. And certainly uh, MRI scans uh, uh, can be valuable, but the single most important test for the entire aorta, and we generally do this on most of our patients, is a CT scan with IV contrast. Most patients who have problems with their aorta don't initially know that they have a problem. In other words, they don't have symptoms. They don't have pain in the knee or the hip like they would with an orthopedic problem. Uh, and so it's rare that fixing the aortic problem is gonna make them feel better because they're not feeling bad from it in the first place. So we sit with the patients and explain to them that because they're probably not having symptoms, the surgery is not going to make them feel better. Its main purpose is to keep the problem from the aorta taking their life much earlier than they would under other circumstances.